ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕ ಚರುಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ಭಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯ ಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದುಭವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ಬಾಚಾಲಂಗ ಪಂಗುಂಗ ಲಂಗ ಹೈತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಜತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವ ವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವಸ್ ಸ್ನಭಕ್ತಿಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ್ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಿಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೇತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪನೋತ್ಪಾಲ್ಯಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣಾರಬಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಕಭವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಂ ಕರೋಸಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೀತನಂದ ಶಿಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸಾಧಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೀತನಂದ ಶಿಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸಾಧಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯುತಾಕ್ಷ ವೀಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭುತಾರೌ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿಥೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿ ತಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ್ ತ್ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
क्रिया सक्तान धीग विकट तपस धीक च जमीन धीगस्तु ब्रह्म हम बदन परिफुल्लान जरो मतीन किम एतान स्वचाम विषार समित मत्यान नर पशु न केशांचित अहो हो मिलित गौरव मिलित अधुना न केशांचित ओपी अहो हो मिलित गौरव मधुना क्रिया शक्तान अधिक विकट तपस अधिक च जमीन धीगस्तु ब्रह्म अहम बदन परिफुल्लान जरो मतीन किम एतान स्वचाम विषार समत्यान नर पशु न केशांचित लेशो लेशोपी अहह मिलित तो गौर मधुन गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगदगुरु टोल सो लॉन्ग एज मायावाद सिद्धांत मायावाद विचार इज देयर ऑन दिस अर्थ वी कैन नॉट गेट एनी इफेक्टिव फैसिलिटी एक्चुअल फैसिलिटी वी कैन नॉट गेट टू प्रीच प्योर भक्ति गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगदगुरु टोल्ड सो लॉन्ग एज मायावाद विचार कंसेप्शन इज देयर ऑन दिस आर्थ टिल देन वी कैन नॉट गेट एनी फैसिलिटी एक्चुअल फैसिलिटी टू प्रीच शुद्ध भक्ति नॉट पॉसिबल बिकॉज इज द टॉपमोस्ट इम्पिडिमेंट्स इन द वे ऑफ शुद्ध भक्ति पोपाज ऑल्सो टोल्ड द डे फ्रॉम हुएर द डे फ्रॉम हुएन ऑल मायावादी स्टार्टेड ज्वाइनिंग गौरियो भजन फ्रॉम देन सिचुएशन चेंजिंग इज बिकम ए बिग प्रॉब्लम फॉर आस Who can detect who is Maya Vadi, who is Vaishnava? We have no, no thermometer there, na. Only Prabhupad and those elevated devotees, they can understand. But still, they will have to stay with them. Otherwise, how can understand? So, Prabhupad speaking, the day from when all Maya Vadi, they started joining Gauriyo Bhajan. From then, the problem. is a very acute problem big problem started because if i can take the base apron of vaishnav sanyas or wide ways who can arrest me if i can take the base of vaishnav and inside mayavad who can arrest me nobody there you can go that side of river they are all doing all nonsense at the same time they are going to identify themselves as a follower of chaitanya mahaprabhu they have what to speak about the sahaja navadivina or on sambada nobody there to check today one maharaj came to me baraha maharaj one is the disciple bam he love me very much he is from america he wanted to meet me i was in construction place he is speaking maharaj in our gauri mart one branch is there in bajbaj he is a disciple of sila sidhar gosi maharaj brahmachari he already gone from this world and after that the lady disciple of that man they wanted to get control over the temple and they are giving red cloth and sanyas to everybody then he like to file one case because otherwise everybody can think goriamond is like that nobody interested billions of dollars they have but they have no no interest i let them do whatever do even when i started writing protest note by the desire of a guru vishnav from goriamond some demon they say what it concern to let them do you while your own business you already fall down He already fall down. He give me this kind of advice, speaking this way. He is speaking what you are doing, what we know. So what he is doing, let him do this kind of. Actually, he is already fall down. Already, this is the condition. Nobody interested. For sampradaya, nobody like to do anything. 
This is the condition. So, it's a big problem. But Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to pay special attention to this factor. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, our Gauranga Mahaprabhu wanted to pay special attention to this factor. Because Mahaprabhu could know, could realize, if Mayabad is there, if I am not going to do something for those who are fallen into Mayavadi, Mayavad, then there is no solution. First of all, after taking sannyas, what is the keep of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? You see, after taking sannyas, Mahaprabhu first went to Purushottam Dham by the desire of Sachi Mata. You, I can stay, you can stay there. By the desire of Sachi Mata, he went to Purushottam Dham. Long history, I am not going to speak. Finally, when Gauranga Mapu going to reach uh, Jagannath temple, entering into temple, uh, and uh, he wanted to embrace Jagannath. He wanted to embrace Jagannath. So, deep prema was there. So, he fell down on the ground, we wanted to, and Panda, they wanted to beat. They don't know his Supreme Lord. He is Jagannath sitting in the, they don't have no idea. They wanted to beat him. They say, what kind of audacity you want to go and uh, embrace Jagannath? In the meantime, there was the topmost Mayavadi, Sarvam Vartachaju was there. Sarvam Vartachaju was there. He, is the, he, was the, he was the number one Pandit. Pandit in the sense, in common sense, in general sense. But according to Vaishnava Siddhanta, he was, not, he was not, not Pandit. We cannot say. But anyway, he is known, he was known as the topmost Pandit in whole India. Topmost Pandit. A renounced, very, very famous. Sarvam Vatajajo, by chance, by chance he was there. When Panda, they wanted to beat him, Sarva wanted to stop, stop, don't beat. He wanted to cover Chaitanya Mahapu with his own body. Stop, stop, don't beat. After that, because those Pandas, they used to respect Sarva Jaju. Because Sarva Jaju was an important personality in front of Raja King. In front of Raja Pratabriddha, he was the important personality. Sarva Matajuju, Kasi Mishra. Kasi Mishra is the, actually, Kasi Mishra is the, Kasi Mishra was the, is the guru of, Kasi is the guru of Pratabriddha. So, both of them very important. So, when they wanted to beat Mahaprabhu, Sarva Matajuju stopped, the then they was, ready to stop, you know, anyway. After that, Sarva Jaju, he is having all knowledge. Though he is Mayavadi, topmost Mayavadi, but still, he is so big Pandit, as an all Sastra there. He is Mayavadi, but at the same time, all Vaishnava Sadhu, many Sastras, Rasutatya, he have idea. He started thinking, this kind of Baba impossible in this material world. Sarvamata Jaju started thinking, this kind of Baba, what I see in this young man, impossible in this material world, not possible. But he has some idea about. Because originally he was from Navadivna. Originally Sarvamata Jaju is from, he is the son of Maheshwar Bisharat. You heard the name of Maheshwar Bisharat. He was the son of Maheshwar Visharat. Maheshwar Visharat and Jagannath Mishok was, uh, was friend. They used to read together. I mean, a student that time. So Maheshwar Visharat and Jagannath Mishok all friend. And he is the son of Maheshwar Visharat. Follow. Sarvamata Jaju. As the son of Maheshwar Visharat. Finally, he was here in Navadip Dham. But finally, by the request of, finally, by the request of Pratabruddha, he was bound to go there. Pratabruddha requested him, please come, I can give you stipend. I have a big amount of money. 
I, because on those days the kings they used to give patronage, you know, to they to give money, this, that, to big, big pandit, scholar. So he was bound to go there. From then onward, he started staying there in Purushottam Dham. So Sarvamatacha Jo Do Mayavadi still have some idea. He started thinking this kind of prema. What I wa what I am watching in this young man, it is impossible there. In the material world, not possible. So let him see. But the consciousness not coming back. He is waiting. He is waiting for a long time. If the consciousness can come back, Mahaprabhu, but not coming back. Then Sarvamvartajajo as Sarvamvartajo himself, by the help of all the students. By the help of his student, all many students, they went to see Jagannath that time. They wanted to carry Mahaprabhu on backside and they went to the house of Sarvam Vartajaju. The house of Sarvam Vartajaju and backside, Nityananda Prabhu, all devotees, they are coming. They got information at the, at the gate of main temple of Jagannath temple. Some big young, young man, golden complexion, he fall down in Jagannath, Jagannath temple. They are gossiping with each other. Uh, this is a miracle case. And Sarvamata Jojo carry him to his own house. And by chance, Gopinath Acharya, Gopinath Acharya, who was originally in Navadhi, by chance he meet all, all it is one nice arrangement. So they went to Sarvamata Jojo's house. Anyway, I don't like to discuss all in details. Sarvam Vartajajo, Sarvam Vartajajo was very much popped up, very, very false ego. Mane, nobody there in this, nobody, the, nobody was there in this universe who can change the mood of Sarvam Vartajajo. So fixed up in Mayavad. So false ego. Only Pratishtha, La, puja, patishtha, without that, oh, Sarvamataja does know nothing. If somebody is speaking about pure devotion, he is uh, in chokingly, he is going to break his Siddhanta. Even Gopinath Ajajo, who is a Parshad of Gorangma, he used to give some argument because the, actually, actually the sister of Gopinath Ajajo, Sarvamataja, Mary, Sajjanabha Sarvamata Jajo was, you know, married this sister of Gopinath Acharya. So there is some friendship. So whenever Gopinath Acharya was speaking something, Sarvamata Jajo, great pandit, big pandit, he has to joke and, you know, pass away. Nobody can change his mood. And he is giving, he is giving teachings to thousands of disciples. Because most of the people on those days, because most of the people on those days, they used to go to Baranasi, used to go to Baranasi for Mayavad, Bicha. But when Sarvamata Jajo is there in, when Sarvamata Jajo is already there in Nilachal Dham, why they can go up to that far? He is the topmost Pandit. So the thousands of you know, students, they are taking lesson from Sarvamata Jajo. Nobody can change his mood. So fix up. Like, like, not, not like stone. Sarvamata Joji himself told later that my heart was just like a thunderbolt. So hard. So anyway, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu consciousness, he got back his consciousness and Nityananda Prabhu, all devotees, they are singing Mahamantra. Then finally, Mahaprabhu got back his consciousness. After that, Sarvamata Jaju wanted to consult with him what is his identity. Then he came to know that Maheshwar Visharad, my father, is a friend of his father. Then he developed some affection. Oh, young boy of 24, how he is taking sannyas? He cannot maintain sannyas, so I can help him to maintain sannyas. He started speaking. He is 24 years age. This is not the age of sannyas. He cannot make sannyas. Make, he cannot maintain sannyas. So I can help him. Follow. After that, when discussion took place between the two, 
when Sarva Mataji was suggesting him, then Mahaprabhu, with very humble attitude, he say, I am your actually children. I am actually your, your child actually. So whatever you suggest, I am, I am ready to accept. So from then onward, Sarva Mataji told him, you can come to me and hear Vedanta. You can come to me and I can teach Vedanta to you, I speak explanation Vedanta. Because in Varanasi, there is one, they are using one, you know, line stanza, one. Vedanta Bhakcheshu Ramante, this kind of sloka. Eh? Those who are those who are discussing Vedanta always and every time, they can maintain Bhairagya. All other people, they cannot maintain Bhairagya. Vedanta Bhakcheshu Sada Ramantyam, this kind of sloka. They can only maintain Bhairagya. It is their conception. So Mahaprabhu, out of his humble attitude, told, you are my actually guardian. You are my guardian, whatever you, uh, whatever, you know, advice you give, I am going to, I am going to obey. Okay? Then Mahaprabhu started hearing Vedanta. Mahaprabhu started hearing Vedanta from Sarva Vatyachaju. But he is the order, na? He is, you know, Mahaprabhu hearing. Continuously, every day Sarva Vatyachaju, every day Sarva Vatyachaju explaining Mayavad, Vedanta, and Mahaprabhu not speaking anything. Only going to hear, not speaking anything. After seven days over, then Sarva Mataji was speaking, I am explaining Vedanta for seven, seven days over. But you are not speaking anything, yes or no. You understand or don't understand, I have no idea. Then Mahaprabhu started opening a space. Opening a space, Mahaprabhu speaking, Actually, when you are explaining Vedanta Sutra, Mahaprabhu is speaking, actually when you are going to explain Vedanta Sutra, the explanation, commentary, I cannot understand. So you don't understand, the, you can ask me, I am there in front of you. If you don't understand, the, why you are keeping silence, I cannot understand. Mahaprabhu is speaking, when you are speaking the main sutra, like Janma, Dasya, Yato, the sloka, all Vedanta Sutra, one one. I understand. But when you speak, you know, going to make commentary, I cannot understand. Then Sarvamata Jojo was very, very angry. He was very feeling, feeling very derogatory. Sarvamata Jojo, he was a very false ego. He was thinking, well, what do you say? What do you say? When I explain, you cannot understand. You understand the main sloka. You are very angry because the topmost pandit in the in whole, uh, you know, whole India it was the topmost pandit. He was feeling insulted. Then he started speaking. Well, then you can uh, you can yourself explain. You yourself explain. Then Mahaprabhu started speaking. You are explaining in a very strange way. You are explaining in a very strange way. Like one example, Gangayam Ghoshapalli. A Sanskrit word, Gangayam Ghoshapalli. In Ganga, there is Ghoshpalli. Ghoshpalli is a village. Ghosh village. I mean the colony of Ghosh. Gangayam Ghoshpalli. The Gangayam Ghoshpalli, if somebody, if it is Sastra, if somebody is speaking, Surely it, does, surely it is not going to mean that one colony is there inside water. Gangayam Gospa leaves, somebody is speaking. It's common sense. You can understand that surely that village is not inside water. At the bank of Ganga. So there, Lakshana Vritti, Lakshana Vritti and direct Vritti. Do two type of. One in one is by assumption you will have to understand and another procedure is sometime you will have to understand directly. There are two procedures. One is by assumption, I mean calculation. You can, oh, this, this is, this must be this. 
Another is direct. You have no right to change. It is a direct meaning. When Shastra is going to speak the direct meaning, when Shastra is going to speak the direct meaning, you have no right to change the meaning. Sometimes when some, some uh, you know, complication is there, the, you will have to understand. Follow what I say. This way, Mahaprabhu started explaining. Sarvam Vataja was fighting with him, continuously fighting. Continuously. Mahaprabhu giving something, speaking something, he is fighting, going to stop. This way, continuously, Mahaprabhu wanted to establish Shuddha Bhakti Siddhanta. Shuddha Bhakti Siddhanta, but Sarvam Vataja was not ready. Sarvam Vataja wanted to establish the Mayavad. Nirvishesh, impersonal Brahma. Pale in Upanishad, Sarvamata Jaja speaking, Are, well in Upanishad it is written, Apani Pada, no, Bhagavan no hand, no leg, it is written in Upanishad. Sarvamata Jaja is giving argument. Mahapu is speaking, well, Apani Pada, after that, what is written? Javano Grahita. Javano Grahita, it is, there is no hand and leg, but still very quickly going to accept what you are going to offer to him out of love. And he has no ear and eyes, but he is going to hear everything. In infinity world, in infinity world, whatever sound is there, who is speaking what? He can realize. Apan pado javano grihitva pashati sinati akarno pashati achakshu he has no hand and leg, but going to accept and say, give, give, give. How possible? And no eyes, going to see everything. Pashati achakshu. No eyes, but can see everything. No ear, can hear everything. Then Mahaprabhu, he is fighting with Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu is saying, well, hear me. Actually, point is, if you never mind, Mahaprabhu always a humble attitude. Main point, Sarvamu Vattacharya was not ready to hear even a single word from anybody. So humble, so puffed up. But watching the humble attitude of this young man, he was bound. So humble attitude, so humble. He was, you know, feeling some attraction for that young man. So he was ready to give some time. Otherwise, no man can stand in front of Sarvamu Vattacharya. One word, two word, he can throw him out, not ready to hear. But it was the excellence of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Because Mahaprabhu wanted to change his mood. Why? Because thousands of his followers, try to understand. This was the mood of our Prabhupada also. If I can change one main Mayavadi, thousands of people, follower, if his conception is changed, then I can get benefit. So Mahaprabhu very clever. Otherwise, why? Why? It is unusual. At the time when Mahaprabhu going to embrace Jagannath and fall down, by that time Sarvamata Jaju was there. Sarvamata Jaju. At the same time when Sarvamata Jaju was taken away inside the room, when Nityananda Prabhu and all followers coming back and hearing all uh, what incident happened here? By chance, Gopinath Acharya was also there. To do you think it is one kind of strange, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, what kind of, uh, actually it is one kind of, automatically, not that, it was arrangement. So, Sarvam Acharya was bound to obey. Mahaprabhu speaking, well, it is written in Upanishad, Bhagavan has no eyes, no leg, nothing. But if you never mind, you can consider this Siddhanta. You must consider Bhagavan has no material eyes and material ear. Bhagavan, Bhagavan has aprakito indriya, sense organ all aprakito, not like you and me. Mahaprabhu speaking to Sarvamo, well, Opani Pad, Jabanugade, everything there. No ears, no. No ear, no eyes, okay. But, main Siddhanta which are there, 
Bhagavan is having all aprakita indriya. Aprakita, transcendental indriya. Material indriya absence. That's why it is written. Still he is fighting. Follow. Finally, Mahaprabhu wanted to prove that we know in this material world, in this material world, because in Brahma Sangita we know, Brahma Sangita we know that all different sense organ of Bhagavan, any any sense organ of Bhagavan, any sense organ of Bhagavan can do any can do the can do anything. I mean eyes can hear, ear can see any. In Brahma Sangita it is written Indriyani Yasha Shakalindya Bhittimanti Pashanti Panti Kalayanti Chiram Jaganti Gobinda Mahadi Purusham Tamahamba Indriyani Jasho Indriyani Jasho Kasho Kashamanu Indriyani Jasho all sense organ of whom? Mean Supreme Lord. Indriyani Jasho Kasho Supreme Lord. His all sense organ, any sense organ can act as any other sense organ. Follow. Bhagavan by eyes can eat. By eyes can eat. But you cannot believe. It is absurd. We have no idea about this. But it is true. Bhagavan by watching can take everything. Evidence is there. That day I was speaking. Our world is relative world. All our creation is relative world. Whatever we are habituated with, we are ready to believe that. Otherwise, we are not ready to believe that some, some Jivatma can stay in Surya Loka. In Surya Loka Sun God, there are some Jivatma there in Shastra, you cannot believe. Because I observed Maharaj, but how, how possible it is? You can say this way. But it is true. We don't know. Our body, sometimes air body, sometimes fire body, our body. Fire body can be there. Fine body, fire body, air body, water body. But we don't believe. Oh, we are habitual. No, no, it's not possible. All Barun Loka. Barun, Barun, you know. The goddess of water. In his loka, all water body. But you cannot believe. Because you are habituated here. In your in your life, you can if you can if you can if you can try to understand, if I take you into minus twenty degree temperature, minus twenty degree temperature, you surely you cannot stay there. But some Russian people in Siberia there, minus 55 minus 66, they are living there. Minus 20, nothing, but they are staying. But you cannot stay. So in this material world, this kind of thing you can see. And 48 degree temperature, temperature in Registan desert, they are staying normally, but you cannot stay. So in this world, relative world, you should not fight with anybody. Regarding Siddhanta. So in Sun God, we know in Sun God, there is some Jivatma, those who have their fire body. Fire body. So fire body, they are staying there, you know, staying there, living there, enjoying their life, fire body. But it is impossible for you. Because even 35 degree temperature you cannot fear. 40 degree. If you give water, you feel hot. So it's relative world. We should not fight it. So, Sarvam Vatajajo was defeated by Chit Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, but with great honor. He was defeated, but with full honor, so that he cannot feel pain. I am defeated, I am great. Because if Sarvam Vatajajo is going to feel I am defeated, at the same time he can heart fail. Because it is treasure, na? This knowledge is treasure. If he is going to discover my knowledge is useless, immediately he can heart fail. Like the case I told you about that Pandit, case of Kashmiri. You, you can see the 
way of approach of Sima Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu never wanted to insult. But Mahaprabhu was successful to change their heart. Kipa and Kesab Kasmari was changed. You see, you cannot realize if, if Kesab Kasmari is changed, thousands of his followers, thousands of his followers all changed. So you see how Mahaprabhu changing. And not only that, but also Kesab Kasmari was the Acharya of uh, Vishnu Sami Sampadaya. The Acharya. Kesab Kasmari was. So you see the way of approach of Siman Mahaprabhu. So finally what happened? In this material world, we have idea. One snack. One snack. One snack, it, eyes is there. But have you seen any ear? Have you seen any ear of snack? You, who, who have seen? The ear of snack, have you seen? No ear is there, how you can see? No ear, there. No ear. But how snack hearing? How snack hearing, that is the main question. How snack hearing? By the help of eyes. By the help of eyes. We go study Maharaj. Eyes, eyes can see. Well, yes. Snack both. Snack can see by the help of eyes. At the same time can hear by the help of eyes. That's why one name of snack is Okhisrava. Those who are Sanskrit Bengali, they know. Okhisrava, I mean the snack, one name of snack, who is going to hear by the help of eyes. Any sound vibration coming in the eyes is vibration, he can realize, he can, realize, he can go away, fly here. So you see, so if, so if in this material platform, so if in this material platform, this kind of disparity you can see, this kind of diversity, so why not you can believe about Bhagavan Supreme Lord? So about Supreme Lord, so about Supreme Lord it is written, so about Supreme Lord it is written, so about Supreme Lord it is written, Indriyani Yasya Shakalindya Bhitti Manti, Pashanti Panti Kalanti, Chiran Jaganti. Very nice. Mahaprabhu giving one by one argument, Sarva Mortaja was changed, not only changed, finally, not only changed, but finally, Mahaprabhu wanted to see his own sarup to him. Six hand. Dondo Kamandul. Dondo Kamandul there. At the same time, you know, bow, bow and arrow. Follow. Bow and arrow. And we, you know, Krishna, Bhangshidhani, this middle hand. Upper hand is actually Ram, you know. Follow. This way. All. Ramchandra, Apara. Bow and arrow. And middle hand, you can see Bhangshidhani. And lower hand, golden complexion with Danda or Kamundu. When, when, when Mahaprabhu manifest, when, when Mahaprabhu manifested his sarup in front of him, in front of him, six hand, but because for so long, Mahaprabhu was acting just like a human being. Just like a human being, nothing special. But when Mahaprabhu expressed, Sarva Mata Jajo, fall down on ground, cannot bear the power, could not bear the power of this darshan. He fall down. Then Mahaprabhu finally going to touch his body. What happens? Going to give consciousness. He, he get up. And started speaking, Bhairagya Vidyani Yabhakti Yogo Shikshartha Mekam Purusho Purano Sikishna Chaitanya Sarira Dhari Kipam Mudir Tam Samaham Prapadde. Hundred slow. When Sarvamata Jojo get back his consciousness, when looking at Prabhu, then Mahaprabhu standing like just like human being, Gauranga. That, that appearance is not clever. He started speaking like wind. 
like that day Kishab Kesav Kishima started glorifying Ganga like wind, here also. Hundred sloka started speaking like wind. By Ragya Vidya Nijo Bhakti Yoka, from then onward, Sarva Matajacho already changed. Unprecedented Kipa. Sarva Matajacho changed all over India reaction. Sarva Matajacho changed, na? Sarva Matajacho already changed, become Vaishnava. And all news like, like current going all around India. Sarva Matajacho changed. Oh, Sarva So this way, Sarva Matajaju was changed by Siman Mahaprabhu. It's a great success. Sarva Matajaju started believing Harinam, who used to joke. When Gopinath Ajaju discussing with him, he, he is going to speak all opposite. He is laughing. He used to laugh, joke with him. Now, Mahaprabhu one day from Jagannath Mandir, Arati Darshan, morning time, Panda, those who are Panda, by now they came to know that he is a great personality. They don't know his Bhagavan, but Sarva Mataji could started believing his Bhagavan himself. With some prasadam, morning time, when Panda log, they are giving some prasadam to Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu straightway coming to the house of Sarva Mataji. Sarva Matajajo sleeping and just breaking his sleep. Just breaking. Just breaking. Previously, he used to speak something else. Now, he is speaking Krishna Krishna Bali, Krishna Krishna Bali, Bhatto Jagilo. Who never used to speak about Krishna. Now, Krishna Krishna Bali, Bhatto Jagilo. Bhatto, get up. And Mahaprabhu immediately entering into his room and giving prasadam in his hand. Giving prasadam in his hand. Sarva Mataji drinking prasadam without washing, without taking bath, without chanting. Mahaprabhu started dancing. Mahaprabhu started dancing. Mahaprabhu speaking, now I am going to climb, you know, climb Vaikuntha. The Sarva Mataji believe. Now, Sarva Matajajo believe Mahaprasadam. From then onward, Sarva Matajajo become a great devotee, great devotee, honorable devotee. He become and inviting Mahaprabhu almost daily to give Prasadam, dancing with him, all everything all change. So, first point, Sarva Matajajo was changed, mean it was a great success, Mahaprabhu himself told. Because if Sarva Mataji to change, all reaction can be there all over India. All over. So Sarva Mataji to change, it was a great success. And you can remember, I was discussing about Jibu Goswami Pad life. Madhusudan Saraswati Pad. Madhusudan. He is a disciple of Sarva Mataji. Madhusudan. Bachaspati. Saraswati na. Sorry. Madhusudan Bachaspati. Madhusudan Bachaspati was a student of Sarva Matajajo. But finally, he was converted into Bhashma Siddhant. Converted into Vaishnava. So, so Nithyananda Babu told him, you can go to Varanasi and take lesson. Because all Vaishnava Vedanta, Vaishnava Vedanta, not Mayavadi Vedanta. Vaishnava Vedanta, disciple of Sarva Matajajo, was there in Varanasi, and our Jiva Goswami Path gone there, he took lesson from there. That is the lesson. So it was a great impact anyway. So, first point, Mayavad, Mahaprabhu wanted to change all Mayavad, all total system, even in Dakhin Bharat, here, there, so many places. Now, Mahaprabhu went to Varanasi, which is the main ford, which is the main ford of Mayavad. Varanasi is the main ford of Mayavad, which can never be changed. Any father can come, they can go back defeated. No father can change. Varanasi is the main ford of Mayavad. So, Mahaprabhu went to Varanasi, you know, 
every day used to pay pranam to Kashi Vishwanath and took shelter in the house of in the house of Chandrasekhar Acharya and took prasadam in the house of Tapan Mishra. And there was one South Indian, uh, no, South Indian actually, uh, buddy, I forget his name, he is very nice devotee. Is, 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 he was Vaishnava, very nice Vaishnava. All Mayavadi, they are criticizing about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. All Mayavadi, they are criticizing about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Why? Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is uh, externally Mayavad Sanyas. Ma externally Mahaprabhu Mayavad Sanyas, na? Mahaprabhu took egg danda. Mahaprabhu took one danda. Follow. Mahaprabhu took one danda. One danda, the inner meaning, the inner meaning of egg danda. Inner meaning of one danda means Aham Brahmasmi. So all Mayavadi, all Mayavadi, they are going to take one danda. Aham, Aham Brahmasmi. I am Brahma. This is their this is their sadhan. This is their sadhan. They can go on practicing this. When they can feel I am Brahma, they are their success. As per their calculation. But Mahaprabhu wanted to point out to us that those who are Mayavadi, Mayavadi, they, they are the topmost Joshi Sangi. Mahaprabhu specifically, Mahaprabhu specifically wanted to point out no other Acharya. They wrote something against Mayavad, Matacharya wrote, Ramanujaja wrote, they, all they wrote. Vishnu Swami, Nimbarka, all, but specifically they are not going to speak that Mayavadi, those who are Mayavadi, they are topmost Joshi Sangha. But it is the chronic disease, it is the current chronic disease of Mayavadi, Mayavadi uh, people, they are thinking we have the highest renunciation. They are always fighting. Nobody in this universe, they, are, they cannot compare with us. We are Topmost, we are in top, topmost renunciation. They claim this way. Always they claim. They always claim. But Mahaprabhu wanted to show that their claim is all false. They are topmost Joshi Sangha. You know, in Chaitanya Charitamitra, Joshi Sangha Tagi Vaishnava Chara. The first and foremost behavior, efficacy of Vaishnava is to live Asa Sangha. But nobody can live Asa Sangha. Knowingly, unknowingly, purposely, somehow they are doing Asa Sangha. Even not outside, mentally they are doing Asa Sangha. Not outside. I am not going outside. I am not. How you can say? Mentally they are doing Asa Sangha. Asa Sangha they cannot abide. But Mahaprabhu wanted to establish this Siddhanta fast. Jashi Sangha tag a Vaishnava chara. To live Jashi Sangha is the first and foremost etiquette, Vaishnava etiquette, acharan. So Mahaprabhu wanted to establish, though Mayavadi is speaking, that we are in the topmost renounce order, topmost, high class. But it is not our Siddhanta. Because we know Mayavadi. They want to take the chair of Brahma. They like to get this title, topmost title, that I am Brahma. The Mayamadi is the topmost, you know, Jashi Sangha. Because they like to capture, they like to capture the chair of Brahma. They like to capture the chair of Brahma. They like to, they like to claim that we are Brahma. Brahma and I myself all same. So that is called topmost Joshi Sangha because La Puja Patishta Kamini Kanchan all Joshi. All Joshi, na? Sometimes we think woman association is Joshi Sangha. Not that. Only woman association, no. Only woman association is Joshi Sangha actually. Joshi Sangha means Kamini Joshi. Sometimes Joshi can come in the form of woman. Kamini Joshi, 
Kanchan, all money, gold and everything, diamond, Kamini Joshit, Kanchan Joshit, and Pratishtha Joshit. Last, Pratishtha Joshit. This kind of Siddhanta you cannot find in the whole world. Even in the heaven, if you go, you cannot find. This is the Siddhanta of Gauriya Mat. Gauriya Mat Siddhanta, Prabhupada Bhakti Mutter told. Nobody knows how possible miracle. Pratishta is the topmost. Because Bhakti Mutter wanted to say, any object, any object in your life, in your life, any object, you are feeling attraction for that thing, is called Joshit for you. Any object, anything, may be in fine form, like Pratishta, you cannot see Pratishta. Or you cannot say how many kg Pratishta, how, liter, how many liters, not possible. Pratishta cannot be seen. But Pratishta can be seen in the life of somebody in applied form. What kind of behavior he is doing, what kind of character by which you can detect. Pratishta itself, you can, uh, Pratishta you cannot see. Pratishta is not visible. Pratishta is visible, visible when somebody is going to behave that way, then you can detect the Pratishta is there. So, Pratishta is the topmost Joshit. Kamini Joshit, Kanchan Joshit is dangerous. Kamini Joshit, Kanchan Joshit is very dangerous. But still, Pratishta Joshit is more and more dangerous in the life of Sadhak, those who are doing sadhana. Follow. So, Mahaprabhu specifically wanted to show them that you don't understand that your Pratishtha Joshi is going to make, you, make your southern life corrupted. You are corrupted because you want to get Pratishtha. And our Raghunath Das Goswami Pad also told, Pratishtha, Sadhishtha, Sapacha Ramani me hedi nathet. Prabhupada also told, Prabhupada also told, Jorera Pratishtha, Sukari Vishtha, Jorera Pratishtha, Sukari Vishtha, Prabhupada already told in Vaishnav K. In Vaishnav K book, Prabhupada speaking, Jorera Pratishtha, material Pratishtha, material Pratishtha can be compared with the stool of pig, boar. Material Pratishtha can be compared with the stool of a boar or pig. Because pig going to pig or boar going to eat a stool eater. That the stool eater. After eating stool, they are going to pass stool. So Prabhupada wanted to give this example. Prabhupada wanted to give otherwise our consciousness is so low. Our consciousness is so low, if ordinary speech cannot ordinary speech cannot big any reaction cannot bring any reaction inside heart. Prabhupada writing so hard, but still people cannot understand. Pratishthasa dhrishtha sapacharamani me hiridhi noted. Raghunath Das Gosai speaking. Raghunath Das Gosai speaking, Pratishthasa can be compared with one characterless lady, sapacharamani, very low caste, very low caste. Low caste woman, who has no sameless can be compared. Raghunath Das Goswami. And Prabhupada told, it can be compared, Pradeshya can be compared with stool or pig. Is the topmost. So, Mayabadi can think that way, that we are a topmost, we are, we are in the topmost level of renunciation. But Mahaprabhu wanted to prove your renunciation all false. All renunciation all false, not only that, but also you are going to die. You are going to die because you are not going to you are, you are not going to believe the eternal existence of Guru, Vaishnava, Bhagavan, Dham, Nam. They don't believe, na. They don't believe. And Mahaprabhu always wanted to establish this. Even in South India, North India, where gone, wherever. Wherever he gone. Where is Mahaprabhu wanted to establish? Shamande Avidya Prayajan. Wherever, even in student life, a teacher life, when Mahaprabhu go to Bangladesh, you can find. Mahaprabhu, Tapan Mishra came. In dream, Tapan Mishra cannot understand what Sadhu Sadhanta to find. He cannot understand properly. 
somebody speaking this, somebody speaking that. So finally he was in confusion. In the night time, in dream, some demigod came and some rishi, who can say, speaking, well, you are interested to know Sadhu Sadhana Takta, Nimai Pandit coming from Navadip. He is Supreme Lord, you can go. You can go and learn Sadhu Sadhana Takta. Giving his fact. Because eternal person, na? so this kind of Leela. So Tapan is going and fall down, taking shelter. I have no idea about Sadhu Sadhana Tattva, you please sing. Then Mahapu speaking. In Mayavadi, yes, sir, there I can speak. So, wherever Mahapu went, everywhere Mahaprabhu wanted to establish Sadhus, Sammanda, Avidya, Prayajan. Because without, without understanding the Sammanda, even wife cannot serve, even wife cannot serve husband without understanding the relationship between me and husband. Mother cannot serve children without understanding relationship. Not possible. So this way, Shamanda with your provision, Mahaprabhu wanted to establish everywhere. Everywhere. And wanted to glorify Harinam. Shadda Sadhan Tattva Jekuchi Sakal, Harinam Sankitana Paiva Sakal. Whatever you like to get, achieve by your Sadhu Sadhan Tattva, you can get everything by the help of pure Nam Sankitana that you can give. So, Sarvam Bhattacharya was changed. Finally, Mahaprabhu went to Varanasi. There also, those Mayavadi sannyasis, they are fighting with Mahaprabhu. Because Mahaprabhu is singing, dancing, but they don't like it. They say he's a crazy man. He's a crazy man coming from Navadhi. He has no idea the young man should learn Vedanta, otherwise how he can uh, give protection to his Vairagya. Not possible. So that that Brahman, that Brahman, he is coming to Mahaprabhu and speaking, those Mayavadi, they are going to insult you with strong grief going to speak. Prabhu Prabhu they are going to insult you uh, they are not speaking even your full name they are speaking Chaitanya 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 they like to insult they are speaking not Sri Krishna Chaitanya not speaking that Brahman complaining that they want to insult you they are speaking so many things but every time they are speaking Chaitanya, Chaitanya, Chaitanya. They are not speaking your complete name, Sri Krishna Chaitanya. Why, Prabhu? Why? Why so? Mahaprabhu speaking. Actually, Mayavadi, they are great offender unto the lotus feet of Krishna. That's why they don't like to speak Krishna now. Okay, no problem. Hello. So, first of all, Mahaprabhu from Varanasi went to Vrindavan. While coming back, wanted to change them. Wanted to change them. Anyway, so then that Brahman wanted to invite Mahaprabhu. That Brahman already have clear knowledge that Mahaprabhu not going to accept, accept any invitation from anywhere. But still, that Brahman coming with folded hand, Prabhu, I know you are not going to attend any assembly. I know you are not going to attend any assembly. You are not going to take prasadam with anybody anywhere. You are not going to accept this kind of invitation. But still, out of your causeless mercy, if you can accept my invitation, then I can feel very happy. Mahaprabhu can see the past, present and future. Mahaprabhu watching, that it is a, it is a, it is it is a, it is a mood of that Brahman to invite both Mayavadi and me, so that there can be some solution. Mahaprabhu could realize the heart of that Brahman, that Brahman having some high conception, very nice con. He want to invite both Mayavadi and Mahaprabhu, so that there can be some solution. So Mahaprabhu, by understanding the mood of that Brahman, Mahaprabhu was ready to go. Okay, I can go. And the day of invitation, Mahaprabhu going to reach that place. I'm in the house of that Brahman. And when going to reach that, 
house, already Mahaprabhu discovered those hundreds of Mayavadis. Already they are present. Hundreds of Mayavadis are already present and not a matter of joke. Not a matter of joke. As the leader of those Mayavadis there that time, there, there that time, the other main leader of Mayavadi was Prakasananda Saraswati. Prakasananda Saraswati. And 10,000 disciples, 10,000 disciples used to follow him. I mean, the time I am speaking about. Later on, maybe more. But actually, 10,000 followers. So he is coming with thousands, I know, so many hundreds of and disciple is coming there, all Mayavadi, with all one danda, all they are coming. Some of our Guru Bhargava, like Madhavandu Puripat, Ishar Puripat, Brahmananda Bharati, or even, you know, uh, Ramanu Shacho, one dando take two. But one dando, their one dando, their, their one dando doesn't mean their Mayavadi. Our Guru Bhargava teaching us within one danda, within one danda, Madhavendra Puripad, Ishwar Puripad, they are going to they are going to think that three danda, Kai Man Bhakka, punishment already there. Ishwar Puripad, Madhavendra Puripad, they are never going to think Aham Brahmasmi. Whereas Mayavadi, they are going to take one danda with this conception that I am Aham, Aham Brahmasmi. Aham Brahmasmi. Jivo Brahmaivo Na Paraha. This kind of wrong conception. So, our, some of our Gaudiya Guru Bhargava you can find, follow, like Ishwar Puripad, Madhavendu they are having one, one danda. That doesn't mean they are Mayavad. They are purposely taking because that time, that time Mayavad, you know, one danda was very famous because no other Acharya was there. So, they took, anyway. So, when Mahaprabhu went there, I mean reached that place, Mahaprabhu already discovered there are so many Mayavadis there. Mahaprabhu going to enter the room. Mahaprabhu going to enter the room. And they are speaking, Namo Narayan, Namo Narayan. Because in Mayavadi, in Mayavad Bichar, they are going to pay respect to each other. They are not going to pay down the world. It is their system. Whenever somebody, they are going to meet with somebody, Namo Narayan, Namo Narayan. When you are Narayan, I am also Narayan. Namo Narayan, each other. And Sarvamur, I forget to speak to you, Sarvamurata Jajo, Sarvamurata Jajo also wanted to speak to Mahaprabhu. Namo Narayan. When Mahaprabhu, first of all, first exchange of view, I mean, after getting back consciousness, Sarva Matajajo speaking to Mahaprabhu, Namo Narayan, Mahaprabhu speaking, Krishna Mastri, Krishna Mati Rastu. Follow, you see. Sarva Matajajo speaking, Namo Narayan, but Mahaprabhu speaking, Krishna Mati Rastu. Mane, your mind can stay unto the lotus feet of Krishna. Then Sarva Matajajo could realize, oh, he is externally Mahabadi, he is not Mahabadi, he is Vaishnava. Sarva Matajajo could realize. Follow, Sarva Mataji could realize this Vaishnava is no Mayavadi. Oh, then I am going to get one, you know, very good candidate. I can, I can change him, very nice. <laughs> Follow, this way. I can change his mood, this way. He started. So, what happens, you know? When Mahaprabhu discovered already in the hall, there is hundreds of Mayavadis there. Hundreds of Mayavadis. Mahaprabhu enter and they all started speaking, Namo Narayan, Namo Narayan, Namo Narayan. Mahaprabhu laughing. Mahaprabhu going to wash his leg. There is, there is one place where to, there is one arrangement where you can, where you, there is one arrangement, there is one arrangement, there is one arrangement where you can wash your leg. They are going to wash their leg. When Mahaprabhu going to wash his leg, after that, Mahaprabhu is going to sit that place. Usually, the, usually where you are washing your leg, that dirty place, no? But Mahaprabhu, after washing leg, is going to sit there. 
immediately sit there and going to express express body effulgence like 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 so many sun god at a time but the feeling is very soothing feeling not burning mahaprabhu expressing his body body effulgence like so many sun god at then when prakashananda saraswati was watching at him immediately he get up because some sort of avi his feeling immediately get up and go and catch the hand of mahaprabhu why you are sitting here in dirty place you come here and sit with us you are you know mahaprabhu say i have no right to sit with you i am a fallen man i am fallen man i have no right to sit with you by watching the hum by watching the extreme humbleness of mahaprabhu their heart melted what do you say it looks like in like bhagwan himself eh mayavadi usually they don't believe bhagwan but they started speaking your appearance everything your your behavior your appearance your power it's it seems it seems that you are narayan it seems that you are narayan how you say you are ordinary man. come 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 forcefully going to catch the hand of mahaprabhu going to make him seated there with them after that with very soft exchange of view well you are mayavadi sanyasi we are also mayavadi you are from same group but why you are not going to join us they are putting question in you are you are mayavadi we are also mayavadi but why you are not going to join us to hear vedanta everything and you are going to dance and sing why it's not good na we are your we are from your own sampradaya na they think they they thinking that mahaprabhu is from same sampradaya mayavadi same problem happened in urupi i can discuss urupi south india madhacharya pit there to mahaprabhu asking there why you are not going to here vedanta this that you are always singing and that mahapur speaking i am actually foolish man i am not educated actually my i my guru pat padmo my gurudev told me that you are foolish number 1 you have no right in vedanta so better you can go on doing sankirtan is go practical for you so i am doing well your gurudev told yes my gurudev told गुरु मोरे मूर्ख देखी करा शासन तुम्हें मूर्ख तुम वेदांत नहीं वेदांत यू हैव नो रईट मापू वांटेड टू मेल्ट देयर हार्ट मापू वांटेड टू मेल्ट देयर हार्ट मापू स्पीकिंग एक्चुअली आई एम इलिटरेट एक्चुअली नॉट एडुकेटेड एक्चुअली सो माय गुरु पाथ पद्म टोल्ड मी यू हैव फुलिश नंबर वन यू हैव नो रईट इन वेदांत सो यू कैन यू कैन डू ओनली नाम संकीर्तन that's why i am singing i am not doing nam sankirtan out of my own desire fancifully and i am dancing i am shedding tears i some day i wanted to ask to my guru pat padma what kind of mantra guru pat padma i wanted to ask one question to my guru ji guru pat padma what kind of mantra you have given to me what kind of mantra you have given to me i cannot stay peacefully as the mantra going to make me dance and sing mahaprabhu speaking kiba mantra dila go shai in bengal you can go you can go through chaitanya charitamrita kiba mantra dila go shai kiba tar phol jopito jopito mantra korilo pagal nachi gami nachi gai nami nahi ami apan ichhay according to my own will or desire i am not dancing and singing singing this mantra going to make me dance what i can see to mahapu speaking to those mayavadi finally i wanted to ask my guru pat padma what kind of mantra you have given to me that i cannot uh, i cannot be a i like to sing and dance i shed tears what what kind of reaction i am feeling by chanting this mantra my guru padma the tool my guru mahaprabhu speaking to mayavadi 
my Guru Patma answered that you are successful. You are hundred percent successful. The ultimate, the ultimate result of this mantra, maha mantra, can make you dance and sing, and you can set tears. That is the ultimate result, prema. Prema is the actual treasure. Prema is the actual treasure you are supposed to get in your life, provided you are going to follow your Sadguru and you are doing a mantra. And whole life you will have to do satsanga. That should be your commitment. That should be your commitment in your life that you are not ready to do any asasanga. Knowingly, unknowingly, or even mentally. Knowingly, unknowingly. Or even mentally, mentally asasanga totally prohibited. If asasanga parallel going on, your bhajan, your sasanga, and asasanga parallel going, then you cannot expect any improvement in your life. Because asasanga can eat up the vitals of your bhajan. You can do bhajan, you can do some progress, but asasanga can eat up the vitals of your bhajan. You can, you can again come back, you can fall down. So, asasanga, you should, you should live asasanga. You should take resolution. It was the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu all the time. So, Sarva, what actually, or Mayavadi, Mayavadi and Mahaprabhu discussing, finally, finally miracle, finally miracle that Prakasananda Saraswati Pad was bound to speak. Mahaprabhu speaking, actually, Shankaracharya, Mahaprabhu speaking with folded hand. Actually, Acharya is not responsible for this kind of philosophy. Mahaprabhu is humble mood speaking. Actually, Shankaracharya, Acharya is not responsible for this kind of, uh, you know, bichar. Because he was given instruction by Supreme Lord to preach Mayavad. In Padma Purana, it is the document. Mahaprabhu speaking that same thing to the Mayavad. Mahaprabhu speaking, Acharya Sankar is Vaishnava. Acharya Sankar is Vaishnava. Though he is going to speak Mayavad Siddhanta, we know Sankaracharya is writing Sarirak Bhashya, Mayavad Bhashya. But still, I can show you so many writings by Sankaracharya, where it is written about Krishna, about love for Krishna, prema, everything. Sankaracharya so many writings, but Mayavad is there. Mayavad Bichar, he was bound to represent, Sankarajaja was bound to represent Mayavad Bichar Siddhanta by the order of Supreme Lord. Bhagavan, Bhagavan told to Sankarajaja, Sankaraha, Shakshat Sankaraha. Who is Sankarajaja? He is Sankar Bhagavan. He came in the form of Mayaiva Brahmana Murtina. Sankarajaja told, you know, and Sankar Bhagavan to Devi Parvati, the Bhagavan actually uh, giving me instruction that I will have to go to this material world and preach Mayavad Siddhanta to cover up, to cover up pure Siddhanta Vishal, to cover up pure Bhakti, Nikcharyan Bhakti, which is a treasure. I don't like to give, I don't like to give Bhakti to those demonic character. Mahaprabhu, Bhagavan going to give instruction. You can go to the material world and preach Mayabhad Siddhanta in such a way, just like a magic spell, that they cannot understand pure bhakti. They can get diverted. We see, Ravan was Mayavadi, Hiranya Gosipa Mayavadi, Hiranyakho, Kumbhagana, all the Mayavadi. Shishupa, all the Mayavadi. Even Ravan used to come by... Ravan, it is there, our Keshav Gosipa writing. Lanka Sutra, one book, very old book. Maybe thousands of years back it was written. By whom? There it is written that Ravan used to come to India. From Lanka, he has chariot, na, plane. He used to come to discuss Mayavad Siddhanta with somebody. Mayavad, here, is written. I have the book with me. So all Mayavadi. So Mahaprabhu, I mean Bhagavan Sri Krishna, by the order of Bhagavan, Sankaracharya was bound to bound to bound to preach 
Mayabad Siddhanta, that is called Sharirak Bhashya. Mayabad Siddhanta. That is not the fault of. So Mahaprabhu is going to speak to the Prakasananda and his group that actually it is Sankarajaju is not responsible for that. Actually, by the order of Bhagavan, he was bound to preach and all people they are misled. They cannot understand. And Prakasananda Saraswati Pad was bound to believe, was bound to believe that what you say, what you say, Siddhanta is really perfect. But we are bound to obey because our Sampradaya Mahabadi. Prakasananda Saraswati Pad, he was bound to confess in front of Mahaprabhu. He was bound to confess. He told that, well, we know, well, we know that it is actually, we are speaking Mayavad, we are going to give argument, but it's, but we, ours, we cannot understand. Pakasandu Sasabhiski, we are giving argument as per the order of Sankara Jaju. He is going to write this way. So we are in this Sampradha. We have no alternative, we are going to follow it. But from our heart, our heart is not going to permit. Pakasananda was bound to confess from heart this kind of Siddhanta, our heart is not going to permit. But what to do? We are in Maya Varanasi, we are bound to. Now, what you are speaking, your appearance, everything, all your character, speech, everything, we believe you are Narayan Himsi. We believe you are Supreme Lord. You see, by the, what is the influence of Mahaprabhu? You see the influence of Mahaprabhu. Influence of Mahaprabhu, they are bound to believe that is Supreme Lord. How oh, Mayavadi, chronic disease, was bound to change. Not only that, but also they started dancing and singing with Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu, it is written in Chaitanya Jyotamitra. Mahaprabhu went to Bindu Madhav. Mahaprabhu went to Bindu Madhav. But there, Mahaprabhu started dancing. Dancing and singing. Prakasanando and all his group, they also, by hearing the sound of Sankirtan, they reach there. They find that golden avatar complexion is, is uh, dancing. They also started dancing. Hari bol, Hari bol. It's strange. They change. All mood, they change. What a miracle. They change. Whole Baranasi was changed. Whole Varanasi, because Pakasananda is the leader. Pakasananda. He changed. Whole Varanasi was clean. Whole Varanasi was almost clean by Shuddha Bhakti. But again, the Prabhupada wrote, we need repeated preaching. We need repeated preaching. Because Mahaprabhu came 550 years back. But now they are again going to change their mood. Popat went there, Popat went there at BHU, Menaras Hindu University. Popat went. There is, there is speaking about, about Gauriya Vedanta. Gauriya Vedanta. There in BHU, they are actually, they are, you cannot study Gauriya Vedanta. You can study Mayavad Vedanta. Whole BHU, there is no teachings of even Akhandananda University. Is BHU is also one university and college and university all they have own affiliation. But in Akhandananda, they are also they are finally they are uh, given they are given uh, some chap some uh, course there. But Ramanuja Vedanta, Ramanuja Vedanta, not Gauri Vedanta. Those papers, those chancellor, I mean the chancellor, vice chancellor, they are speaking. We are very much interested. Chancellor, vice chancellor of Akhandananda. They say we are very much interested to to arrange to arrange Gauriya Vedanta teachings. But who can who can who can learn? Is the topmost treasure, topmost treasure. We know, Jiva we we believe. But who can? If we engage one teacher, we'll have to give one lakh, one lakh twenty thousand salary. And how many students we can get? Nobody going to learn. You see the condition of our Gauri Sampada. Nobody interested. All eating and fighting. 
You cannot find one man who is interested to learn. Vedanta is not going. So, pens, Chancellor, Vice Chancellor speaking, that we, well, we can arrange, we can engage one professor, a Gaudiya Vedanta, Jiva Goswami by writing, topmost, we believe, we believe, they are speaking, we believe that Jiva Goswami by the topmost. Nobody can defeat him. But what to do? We cannot get any student. Nobody interested to learn. This is the condition. Very painful situation. Very painful. They told in your Gauriya Sampradaya, in your Gauriya Sampradaya, what kind of immense treasure. That's, you know, Chancellor, Bhai, they told in Gauriya Sampradaya, immense treasure, infinity treasure. By Rupa Goswami Bhad, Sanatana Goswami, Jiva Goswami Bhad, all who not, Vishwanath Chakravati Bhad. They are speaking in Bhagavatam, we are going to follow the commentary of Vishwanath Chakravati We are following, they are speaking, but what to do? There is no, we cannot find any, any student who can accept it. That's why this is the condi poor condition, painful condition. So, you try to understand the mood of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. How exclusive way Mahaprabhu wanted to approach and change, crash down on Mayavad. If Mayavad is over, then Shuddha Piyar Siddhanta is possible to establish. So long as Mayavad Bichar is there on this earth, so long as Mayavad Bichar is there on this earth, it is quite impossible to establish Piyar Siddhanta. Mayavad is so strong and so catchy. Any man, if you speak Mayabad, they can accept. Oh, so nice. They can accept. The gay cannot understand pure devotional practice. Less interested. You search all over the world, you can find the number of tilak, mala, and grace. But finally, if you make, can make comb operation and show me one or two or five, you can show me. It's not a question of fighting, a question of survival where we are going down. So, you should remember, you should remember that Mayabhar is a big problem. Even in the apron of sannyasi, even in the apron of tilak, ma, everything, all Mayavadi, going to grasp the whole western of society, gradually, like crocodile, like crocodile. Eh? Morning time I was speaking, Kalaha Kalir Valina, Indio Bhaidi Varga. Also, Bhavadana Sasadi Bhat speaking, I am in the, in the ocean of Maya. All crocodiles and you know, a shark, they are going to attack me. They are all going to attack me. How I can protect myself? Bhavadana Sasadi Maybe morning time I can discuss about this point. Kriya Saktan Udhik. Bikata Tapata Dhikcha Jamin Dhigastu Brahma Ham Badana Parifullana Jara Matino Kim Etano Sochamo Vishara Shamatyano Nara Pushuno Na Keshanchit Lesho Pi Ahaha Melino Gauruba They are not going to meet with Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Directly, indirectly, directly or indirectly mean by speech, by hearing the speech from Guru Bhargava. Directly or indirectly, they are never going to meet with Gorangama. So how I can ex we can expect that they can they can develop this kind of heart? So those who are busy with karma kanda, those who are busy with karma kanda, they are fallen, contaminated. Kriya sakta no dhip, bigato tapaso dhik chacha. Those who are going to do strong austerity and finances is strictly prohibited. Strictly prohibited. Strong astuity and pronounces you cannot do. What is feasible for you, normal for you, which is going to give nourishment to your bhakti, that kind of astuity and pronounce you can do. So though I many times in my life, when I was in Vindavan, I told many sadhu, Gaudiya sadhu, why you are doing this kind of thing? Well, Maharaj, too much karma. A karma? So you can approach your Gushwaj here, Radhikata. They are not going to obey me. They are doing Dandavat Parikram in these, they had so many. I said, this you cannot, you cannot survive. You can fall down, but they are not going to obey. 
So strong astuity and penance is strictly prohibited. So kriya saktan udhik, vikata tapas adhik cha jamin, dhigos tu brahma aham badana pari fullano jaro matino, kem etano sachama vishara sa matyano naro pasuno. Material man, material man compared with beast. Our Prabhupada said, they can be compared with beast. Vishwarasya matyano naro pasuna. Those who are enjoying matter in the material world, Pavadana Saraswati, Pavadana Saraswati, they are beast. Kim etanus, how I can think, what solution I can find for them? Pavadana Saraswati, what solution I can find for them? They are beast. They are enjoying matter. Follow. Kim etanus sochamo, how I can think? What kind of solution I can think of? Kim etano sochamo, vishwara somatyano noro pusuno, no kesanchit, no kesanchit, aho ho, milito gauru madhuno. Still today, they are not going to meet with the lotus feet of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Excellent. Excellent. Unprecedented kipa, Achaitanya Mahaprabhu. We can discuss gradually. Actually, today time cannot permit. I am going to stop here. Vancha kalpataro se ki pasindu bhavcha patitanam pavanam bhavishnam bhyo namo namo. Don't know what. So, miracle. Miracle. What kind of treasure there in Gauriya Mahat? 